In today's video, we're going to talk a little bit about uh, how to match our uh, knitting needles to our yarn and what kinds of things that we will want to consider when we're doing that. The yarn and needles that I'm sharing with you today are items from my personal stash. I uh, bought them myself for my own projects and I enjoy using these things and I'm sharing them with you here today. So let's talk about how we match knitting needles to yarn. Um, there are some hard and fast rules, but you can also break the rules. I would recommend when you're starting out that you sort of follow the guidelines on the yarn label and get, you know, get your basics down. And then when you really understand basics, then get out there and experiment a little bit. But today we're going to uh, stick to our basics. And so let's talk about how to pair our yarn and our needles and how we figure out what would be the best needle for the yarn and how we find out what knitting needles we have. So we'll start with this super bulky wet yarn and we're going to come over to our yarn label. I have a super thorough video on reading yarn labels and I'm going to link to that for you. I'll go over everything that's on the yarn labels and I think you'll be kind of amazed when you realize what is here and how to decode these symbols because do you know what they are? I bet you're unclear about it. So I'm linking to that video for you now. But today's video, we're just going to talk about picking our um, knitting needle size. So I'm gonna come in a little bit. And on this part of the label, it tells me that I'm in a size six, super bulky weight yarn. And then I look here. And this is telling me that their recommended needle size is a 13 US or a nine millimeter knitting needle or an N13 nine millimeter crochet hook. And then this information is your projected gauge. This is a guideline, everybody knits differently. So you can't take this as a hard and fast rule that if you use a size 13 uh, set of needles that you'll automatically get this um, swatch that's nine stitches and, and, and 12 rows. You, you cannot expect that to be so. If it is, that's great, but you really have to do your own gauge swatching to know what's going on. That's another video. <laughs> Today we're just going to look at how to match up some things. So this part of the label is telling you what they recommend. Um, and today I brought uh, these needles as a sample. These are uh, my Wool in the Gang Rosewood knit Knitting Needles. I absolutely adore these needles. I love them so much. I personally love straight wooden uh, knitting needles. I know it's kind of old school. Um, but if I'm going to be doing a flat net like uh, a scarf or blanket squares or whatever, uh, my preference is to use uh, straight wooden knitting needles. Uh, so I brought these to pair up to this yarn and let's see what we can learn about these needles. Uh, as I turn them around, you're gonna see there's a number and as I zoom in, you can see that that is 12 millimeters. And so this needle is a 12 millimeter, which is a US 19 knitting needle. So this one is a little bit bigger than what's on our yarn label. Basically, if I pair this yarn with this needle, I'm going to have a looser gauge. So if I wanted to do a scarf uh, with this uh, pairing, what I'm going to wind up doing is I'm going to have a looser gauge and it's going to be like this nice drapey, um, loose kind of scarf, which I think could be really pretty. It depends on 
what you're going for, but a super loose gauge garter stitch scarf in this pink would be very pretty, especially going into spring. So uh, that's how we tell what these needles are. Now let's look over here. At the other end of the spectrum, we have this yarn. And this is uh, what we call fingering weight yarn, which is uh, at the total other end of the spectrum. And it is a one. So that means it is uh, size one weight. And they're recommending that you knit on size one to three needles, which is going to be in US terms, or B through E hooks. And they're giving you approximate gauge, but as you can see, the needle range is one to three. So that's three needle sizes. So you definitely are going to need to gauge swatch um, this yarn yourself and figure out what's gonna work best for your project. Um, I brought my um, Chowgu needle to share with you. Chowgu is my uh, favorite circular needle. I like it the best because I like the uh, the cable. The cable to me is the least fussy and because I like to knit magic loop. Um, the long cable the, um, the, in this style works best for me. Um, but other people really don't like this needle. They like um, other things. So the best advice I can give you is that you just need to uh, experiment and find out what works for you but these are my favorite i buy them from my um, my local yarn shop and i recommend them but you know i love them but again you just have to try and see what you like so let's look at how to read this uh, label on here you can see that this is telling us the brand and that these are stainless steel needles so these are stainless steel um, this is called the SS Red Lace Circular. It's a 40 inch or 100 centimeter cable, which is here. And it's a size one US or 2.25 millimeter. And so this tells us that uh, this would be a good pairing with this yarn. And it tells you here one to three needles so these this would work well together and the one would work for socks because it's a nice tight gauge and you want a relatively tight gauge on your socks uh, and uh, you know actually this is what I have these together for is to um, cast on a pair of socks and so these would go well together but I would still take this yarn with this needle and do my gauge swatching to get my measurements right so that I know my socks will actually fit. Okay, so that's our video on how to um, work with matching up your uh, knitting needles to your yarn and how to read labels on the, uh, the yarn and on the needles and they're all a little bit different. So I encourage you to go to your um, local yarn shop or go to your craft store and just go back to the yarn aisle and browse and take a little time just reading labels and seeing what they recommend and going over and reading the labels on the knitting needles so that you have some uh, clarity on what the information is telling you and how to pair things up. So that's our video for today. I hope you enjoyed it and uh, be sure to um, smash that like button as they say before you leave and subscribe to the channel it really helps everything if you like and subscribe on the videos i certainly appreciate it so uh, if you have questions drop them in the uh, comment section below i'll do my best to answer them and if you have questions or uh, suggestions for other videos, you can also uh, let me know in the comment section. And that's all I have for you today. And until I see you next time, happy knitting.